Thank you to Element for sponsoring. Silent night. Get into the spirit of Christmas with me in today's video. All is calm, all is bright, round John Welcome, dear friends, back to the Daily Connoisseur. Let's get into the spirit of Christmas. I'm going to share some easy and festive hors d'oeuvres for the holiday season, but first I'm going to share one of my recent outfits of the day that I've been loving. I'm pairing one of my holiday sweaters, this diamond pattern cashmere sweater, with my black A-line skirt, sheer tights, and the penny loafer lug shoes. Silent night, holy night, share. I love this sweater because it reminds me of a harlequin, and I love harlequins. It has a bit of a wonderland feel to it. It's getting cold, finally, so when I go outside, I'm pairing this look with my thick wool black trench, which will keep me warm. The bag that goes best with this is my gray Teddy Blake. On my nails today is Coconut Crush by London Town. It's a beautiful sparkly champagne color. It's a new day and I'm about to make some delicious hors d'oeuvres. Let's start with the smoked salmon bites. I spread some herbed boursin cheese on top of a cracker. it with smoked salmon that has a drizzle of lemon juice on it and top that with a sprig of dill. These always go so fast and they are such a crowd pleaser. Smoked salmon can be pricey but most grocery stores offer smoked salmon bits and pieces that are not whole slices for a discounted price. Those actually work great here because you need small pieces anyway. Next, I'm going to make some caramelized onion and pate toasts. I know that sounds fancy, but they're really easy to make. I take some Melba toasts and spread caramelized onion dip on top. This is a store-bought dip from Trader Joe's, but you can make your own if you have a recipe you love. On top of the dip, I'm placing a truffle mushroom pate, some cranberry sauce, and a sprig of parsley. I also make some without the pate. In addition to this spread, I'm also adding port salut cheese, olives, more pate, and sliced salami to the offerings as well. And shrimp cocktail rounds out everything nicely. write some Christmas cards to my friends. I was looking up the origins of the Christmas card. Have you ever wondered how this practice came to be? It seems like we have been doing this forever, but sending a Christmas card is a relatively new practice. It all began in 1840s England with Sir Cole, who was the founder of the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. I recently went there to the Beatrix Potter exhibit. 
Sir Cole was a fan of the new penny post that allowed people to send mail to family and friends for an affordable price. According to an article I read on Smithsonian, Sir Cole was the 1840s equivalent of an A-lister, and he was receiving a lot of mail around Christmas time. It was rude in Victorian England to not respond to each letter you received, so he came up with a brilliant idea. He asked his artist friend, J.C. Horsley, to create an illustration, a triptych showing a family at a table, celebrating the holiday, flanked by images of people helping the poor. And he had a thousand copies made by a London printer. The image was printed on a piece of stiff cardboard, about five by three inches in size. At the top of each was the salutation to and then a space for their name, allowing Cole to personalize his messages, which included the generic greeting, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. And that was the first Christmas card. writing my cards for now, so I'm going to take a minute to tell you about Element, who have kindly sponsored today's video. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means a lot of salt with no sugar. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Because I do intermittent fasting, I'm always thinking about replenishing my electrolytes in a safe way. I love Element, especially all their flavors, and right now their limited edition chocolate medley is available. It's a tasty trio featuring chocolate mint, chocolate chai, and chocolate raspberry. You can drink them alone with hot water, or you can make delicious drinks out of them. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. So get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash daily C. This deal is only available through my link. Go to drinklmnt.com forward slash daily C. Remember the sugar cookie dough I made in my holiday prep video? We have thawed it and rolled it out and the kids are now pressing down the cookie cutters and having so much fun doing it. We bake the cookies at 350 degrees for 10 minutes and when they come out, I transfer them to a new tray so they can shake the sprinkles on top. There is something very charming about cookies decorated by children. They don't have creative inhibitions or ideas on how things should go like adults do. So the way that they do sprinkles is a lot more charming. <laughs> As I lay the kitchen tablecloth, I'm going to recite three stanzas from my favorite Christmas poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play, and wild and sweet the words repeat of peace on earth, good will to men. And in despair I bowed my head, there is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, good will to men. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep, God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, good will to men. Let's end on another delicious note. Last year, you'll remember, I made a puff pastry brie appetizer with an entire round of brie. This time, we're going to make little individual bites. I roll out a sheet of puff pastry with some flour until it's stretched out a bit more, and then cut the pastry into small squares. I then place these in a muffin tin that has been greased. Inside 
inside each puff pastry, I place a small slice of brie cheese and top that with cranberry sauce. To finish it off, I sprinkle these with chopped pecans. Walnuts would also be good too. I bake them for around 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Oh, these bites are delicious and a nice individual touch to the popular baked brie appetizer. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you to Element for sponsoring. Don't forget to use my link below to receive a free sample pack with any order. Go to drinkelement.com forward slash daily C. That's D R I N K L M N T dot com forward slash daily C. Thank you for watching today. I hope that your holiday season is merry and bright. I'll see you in the next video. Love, Jennifer. Mm -hmm.